where voting for the historic urban local body polls have already begun. Fate of as many as 523 candidates will be decided by over 2.2 lakh voters today, with polling underway across three municipalities and 22 town councils. Voting is being conducted across as many as 420 polling stations. 64 candidates have already won unopposed. This is the first time in 20 years that ULB polls are being held in Nagaland. It is also a first that women are contesting with 33% reservation. The eastern Nagaland area is once again missing out on the polls owing to the ENPO's decision to abstain from any central or state elections. Nevertheless, it's a historic occasion for the state of Nagaland. The ULB polls will also be a test of the NDPP-BJP alliance in the state. While the NDPP is contesting in 178 wards, the BJP has fielded candidates in 44, the Congress in 37, NPP in 22, while there are 182 independents in fray. Over 190 female candidates are in the fray this election. Meanwhile, Chief Minister Nefi Rio taking to social media has urged all eligible voters to cast their votes. He added that ULBs are crucial as they provide a platform for citizens' participation in urban management and development of towns and cities. All right, viewers, uh, we, are, uh, we are joined by our colleague Sarah Konyak live from uh, Nagaland to give us details and updates of what is happening. Well, Sarah, we know that uh, the urban local body polls, it has already begun at around 7.30 in the morning. We have visuals of uh, people already there in the queue waiting to cast their votes. What's the update from your side? Uh, Yes, uh, I, right now I'm here at Ward number 13. This is a reserved uh, area for women and there are three candidates in the fray from this particular ward. That is Ward number 13. We have one from the ruling party, that is the NDPP, one NPP and also one independent candidate. So all these three women are contesting from Ward number 13. Like I said, this is a reserved uh, area for women. This is a reserved ward for women. As you can see, we have early uh, voters uh, that have been queuing up since uh, 6 in the morning. Uh, to cast their vote and as this particular urban local body election is being considered a historic one as it is being conducted after 20 years after much uh, hue and cry from the tribal organizations from the civil society organization particularly with regard to the 33 percent women reservation as well as the uh, tax on land and building and after much uh, tussled with uh, and much consultation from the state government with all the tribal bodies finally the ULB uh, polls are being held today the voting started exactly at 7.30 a.m. in the morning and as you can see there are tight security uh Adequate security has also been put up in all the particular wards, especially in the hypersensitive and the sensitive areas. Uh, well, uh, Rishman, let, uh, well, let me also um, point here that this particular urban local body election is not only being watched closely the entire uh, country as it is being held after 20 years, but this particular ULB polls in Nagaland is being closely monitored by the Supreme Court as well. And uh, on, this, on this note, we also have the uh, Kohima Village Youth Organization leaders, the volunteers from the Kohima Village Youth Organization, who are going around particular in every ward uh, to ensure that there is a free and fair election to, to the uh, ULB. We also have one of the leaders. Can you tell us uh, more about uh, the role that the KVYO is playing in this ULB? Okay, thank you NLTV. My name is Atule. Uh, I'm from Koima Village. Uh, we the Koima Village, we are just going around all the polling station uh, as of Election Commission of India and to the direction of Koima village council, we are just going to all the polling station that in every polling station, everybody have got his right to vote, but one man, one vote, there will be no proxy voting. So requesting all the colony members to please know that, know your right to vote and vote to what, whom you want, but please not go against the voting rights. Thank you. 
So right, we just right. heard from the KBYO leader that they're going around in every polling station to ensure that there is uh, one man, one vote, and there is no proxy voting. The state election commissioner have also uh, appealed to the voters uh, in the state who are exercising their franchise that uh, that uh, free and fair election and one man, one vote is uh, practiced in its fullest manner. Absolutely, Sarah. We know that after much hue and cry, as you also uh, mentioned, uh, the, the uh, pollings, the ULB polls are being held in the state after 20 long years. Now, over 2.2 lakh voters will be casting their votes, uh, Sarah, this morning, uh, today, uh, to decide the fate of over 500 candidates. Now, uh, we have, uh, we have uh, visuals of, uh, of uh, people uh, already there in the queue. You have uh, spe specially mentioned that this is a women-only uh, 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 polling station ward number 13 where you are right now so what is the what is the general mood how how do they feel that after 20 years uh, the voting they are being able to vote for the ulb polls and uh, what what are the what are the things that they want uh, to see in the state of nagaland as far as development is concerned sara Uh, well, uh, particularly for this what the candidates have been uh, t talking mostly about the upliftment of uh, women and youth, particularly in this constituency, uh, uh, particularly in this uh, ward. Uh, not only this, but uh, all the reserve wards where uh, all the reserve wards of women, uh, mainly they have been talking about uh, during their campaigning trails, they've been talking about upliftment women and also uh, empowerment of women. So uh, let me just try and talk to some of the uh, women uh, voters who are here. Uh, hello, ma'am. Uh, well, they're shying away a little bit, but let me just try uh, if they would like to say uh, anything or not. Well, uh, the scenario is a little different here. Uh, many of the voters are uh, shying away to uh, speak. Uh, hello. ULB polls is happening after 20 years. This is a reserved uh, uh, ward for women. Uh, as, a, as a lady, as a woman, uh, how are you feeling? What are your expectations from the candidates? Uh, I hope it turns out great. Uh, <laughs> since it's representing women, I hope this is for uh, this will inspire the later generations as well. And I think that uh, more women should represent. Uh, that's all I could say. As a woman, as a woman uh, electorate, you know, uh, what are some of the issues that you would want the, uh, particularly the woman representative, whoever wins, uh, you know, the issues that you would like them to address? Well, uh, I don't have much to say, but... Um, well, um, I don't really know. Uh, well, we just heard uh, that uh, it is really inspiring. It has become a very inspiring kind of mood for many of the uh, women electors, especially as this is the first time women are participating in the urban local body election. And this will also be the first time that women will be a part of the policy decision making in the urban areas. So uh, yes, uh, uh, many of the electors are shying away to talk to, but we will try and get uh, more right. uh, of the electors uh, to speak to us later on. Right, right. Absolutely, Sarah. Also, I would like to mention here that we know that polling has uh, already, uh, the voting has already started uh, in three municipalities and 22 councils uh, at around 7.30 sharp this morning. And uh, what is the voting uh, percentage? It's around 8.20 right now. What's the voting percentage till now, Sarah? Uh, well, we're yet to get updated on the voting percentage. Uh, 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 it is likely to be updated uh, by 9.30 a.m. from the state election commissioner.